Hello. In the first episode of the short videos, we introduced the basic requirements for visual observation and the characteristics of stratus clouds. In this episode, we'll continue to explain the method of cloud observation and introduce cumulus clouds. We speak of how high clouds are, but how do we measure the height of clouds? When we measure the height of a person, it's from head to toe. But it's more complex for clouds. We'll observe how high a cloud floats. That means the height of the cloud base from the mean sea level. Do you still remember the landmarks that I talked about before? In this picture, the cloud base of this cloud patch is at the peak of the Kowloon Peak as landmark. The height of the hilltop is about 1,975 feet. So I determine the cloud height to be 1,900 feet. You may wonder, why isn't it 1,950 feet or 1,910 feet? This is a good question. First, we must understand that a cloud base is inherently uneven, just like the stratus clouds we saw in the previous episode. Secondly, the naked eye cannot distinguish such a detailed height. So when we have landmarks as references, we take 100 feet as the unit of cloud observation. There's a third reason. Weather observation generally chooses to describe a worse weather condition. Worse may not be the correct word. Maybe it's more appropriate to use another term, more concerned. If during weather observation, we observe rain gradually changing from light rain to moderate rain, we'll report moderate rain. This doesn't mean moderate rain is worse. It's just that we are more concerned about moderate rain. In this situation, if the cloud base is between 1,920 to 2,120 feet, we will choose 1,900 feet. So this patch of cloud of 1,900 feet is the theme of this episode. Cumulus is usually written by the abbreviation Q, C-U. Q is the first syllable of cumulus. Cumulus is a type of convective cloud. Generally, the cloud base is relatively flat and the shape of the top is like a cauliflower in patches or clusters. Just like the pictures we drew in kindergarten, they can be easily identified. There are mainly two types of cumulus. Simply said, the difference is between small and large. We call the small cumulus Q1. They'll float in the sky in separate patches with a clear cloud base and a distinguished outline. But they don't have much vertical development. The cloud top doesn't have a clear signature like a pretty cauliflower. We can say Q1 is the preliminary stage of the cumulus. If conditions allow, it will continue to develop and grow. Q1 usually appears in the morning when the sun starts to heat up the ground. In early summer or summer mornings in Hong Kong, these clouds can be seen for a short period of time. When the weather gets hotter, Q1 will continue to develop into another cloud type we call Q2. Q2 is developed from Q1. The cloud base is flatter and more prominent. What is the shape of Q2? I describe it this way. We drew Q1 in kindergarten, and when we grow up and know drawing, we draw Q2, just like this. In some circumstances, its volume can be as big as a hill, and the cloud top look exactly like a cauliflower. When the sun shines on the top of the cloud, a pure white color can be seen. If the cumulus is mature, it'll bring us showers. Moreover, under special conditions at the cloud top, another type of cloud may be formed, as in this cloud picture. Cirrus formed at the cloud top because of the wind. Sometimes Q will arrange themselves in a line. We call this phenomenon a cloud street. No matter if it's Q1 or Q2, Cumulus is the common cloud type in summer. 
Next time you can tell your friends, today's weather is so cute. Goodbye.